Right, uh, so this will be a new series, and in this series, we're going to make an, an robot. Uh, this robot will uh, try uh, to make uh, this uh, design to be as lovely as much as you can. And uh, before we start, I want to uh, explain something. Uh, so uh, this is the file uh, or uh, the reference that we will follow. So this is the reference, and also this is the side view, and this is the front view. Right, and uh, also we have this PDF which has uh, some information. So let's get started uh, by starting a new scene. And inside uh, this scene, uh, we will uh, we are here in the layout panel. So let's join this area. And in the front view, we want uh, to get something. We want to load our reference. So we will say that we have an uh, image, and this will be a an reference. And we will buy or explore our reference here and uh, firstly we can select this reference and move in a new collection and call this collection of course references unfortunately we have we haven't any reference other than this uh, so uh, we haven't the side view or we haven't the front view so uh, let's uh, move this reference we selecting this to be the front perspective and uh, we will move in this y-axis such as this and after that we will say that we will look this so we can select it in the viewport right so the first uh, layer or the first collection will be the design uh, so let's get started uh, by uh, before we start i want to explain also something this is the old uh, design that we will try to match and we will uh, make our own uh, style based on the reference so let's uh, get started uh, so uh, we can uh, select also the reference again and move this reference to sit on the floor like this and uh, here uh, we can So we can start from an, this area. Uh, so uh, this area will be an, a plane. And I will rotate in the x-axis. And move this plane in the z-axis such as this. And uh, after that, I will activate the mirror modifier and add from here the mirror modifier in the x-axis and uh, we can select the reference and finally we can move in the x-axis Uh, so we should select this one and what I want we can also choose the plane and move in the x-axis uh, but it's it's much better to move the reference Alright, uh, so we can move it to match our style such as this. Uh, we want something. We want this area to be in the in the middle. Alright, uh, so let's get started uh, by disabling this and choosing the plane and scale the plane. And I will uh, select these points and. Alright, uh, so let's move in the z-axis Alright, 
All right, uh, we have made the basic. Uh, we will extrude in the in the y-axis, and uh, then we can select these pointers and move in the y-axis such as this to make it uh, similar to an a sphere. And after that, we can select the modifier and going to the subdivision surface of one level because we want it to be as low poly as we, uh, we can and we cancel scale in the all directions such as this and scale in x axis and move to this point maybe all right uh, let's go to the sol the shading to be a smooth and uh, we will deactivate all these and delete this three faces uh, so uh, uh, if we uh, explain if we activate the screencast case uh, it will be much better so i will search for cast which is an screencast case and going here and deactivate this one all right and let's say that the size will be 24 or maybe 22 and this will be such as this anyway let's get started by deleting these three faces we're going from one to the vertex two will be the edges and the three will be the faces of course and we should delete this face and deactivate or reactivate this uh, this modifier and basically we will pull this uh, edge going to two and select this edge and in the y-axis we can go to this area and also in this direction we can go to this area all right here we are and uh, i want also to select this edge and the scale in y.7 maybe and i think now we are close to the reference basically we have an opening here we will make later so let's uh, get started by going to the edit mode and we have here an sphere so we'll make the cursor here and starting from shift a and we will add a new v sphere and let's go here uh, we can uh, say that the segment will be 12 and the ring is will be 8 and let's scale it down such as this uh, let's uh, deactivate the subdivision surface and uh, i will rotate some something such as this and i will scale also uh, so i will go to the local or maybe the normal and so we maybe choose the local all right uh, so let's rotate and scale in the z rotate again and scale to be such as this and uh, here we have something uh, so also in the reference we have a list start from the shoulder uh, so we will start from a circle so i will uh, make the cursor to be at this place and starting from a circle this circle will be let's say it will be 12 maybe 12 and after that we will scale down scale down and the rotate or moving here all right uh, we will go to the vertex and let's extrude uh, to this area and extrude, extrude scale 0.5 uh, 
and extrude again extrude uh, or uh, let's rotate first and extrude scale and uh, then excuse me so we will rotate here and scale to this to match our reference and what I want to make also Uh, basically, uh, we have uh, the reference which isn't in the T-Pose But it's much better uh, to make this character in the T-Pose So uh, what I will make now, I will We can make uh, the two, uh, the one pose which is T-Pose and the other which match our reference so let's continue making the hand first by going to the wireframe and uh, let's extrude scale point 4 and let's extrude one time such as this And again, we will select uh, this edge. So uh, there is some uh, thing which you should notice. We can select only one edge here. And going to select edge loops or edge uh, loops. And uh, basically, because I don't, I don't have the middle mouse, I'm going to the input. And check this emulate three uh, button mouse. So if you have the middle mouse, you can using the middle mouse the basics of uh, navigation. But because I don't have the middle mouse, so I will go in here and activate the emulate three button mouse. And here you can using uh, Alt to simulate the middle mouse or Alt Shift to ban, Alt Shift and left mouse to ban, and Alt Control to zoom in and zoom out. So uh, we can go in now to uh, select the string and I will extrude the scale to be 0.5 maybe and extrude another time and rotate such as this and uh, let's go in here also don't forget to save uh, your file each time in case of uh, something crashes, you will uh, have uh, the uh, work uh, done. Uh, so uh, we will extrude another time scale. We are here. We will extrude scale and let's extrude scale in the x-axis and scale something. All right. What we want to uh, make now is to uh, make the hand here, and I want to join all the parts. So we have this part, and. We can select the edge here, select edge loop, and move in the x-axis to this area. All right, and we can activate the subdivision surface, and I think we are so close to the reference, uh, but let's select edge ranges also, and uh, move to be here. All right.
so uh, we will uh, stop uh, in this lesson and we will continue making uh, the other parts in the first uh, in the second lesson i mean